the system that they use to draft players in both the NBA and the NHL, similar with a draft, ladder, dra draft lottery, rewarding teams kind of for being uh, the worst in the league, very appropriate for Montreal Canadiens fans right now because they're looking at that scenario. What do you think of that system of rewarding teams for being bad? I'm not a big fan of it. I think it creates a race to the bottom. I think there's better alternatives. I know in the NBA, I, I don't think it's going to change anytime soon, but we've discussed um, having a slotting situation where um, rookies coming in would be free agents. And, and the way that would work would be that um, – if you're if you have the worst record like the Canadians may have, then there's a certain amount of money available for that first round, that first pick, having that first pick. But even though you have more to spend, you don't necessarily have a player doesn't have to come to you. So a free agent, you know, a rookie coming in would have the choice: do they want to take more money from Montreal, or would they take less money from Pittsburgh or or from Dallas? And they'd have to compete. And I think um, that would f cause teams to have to be better, be better organizationally, and make the league better. Lastly, just about technology and sports, virtual reality is this thing kind of breaking onto the scene right now. Where do you see that fitting into the pro sports landscape moving forward? You know, there, there's a lot of different avenues for it. I think people, some people talk about it as being a replacement for the 50-yard line or center ice, and that's just not the way it's going to work. The, the cameras just aren't there yet. But as, as a fun way to watch 2D sports, so, you know, I was just talking today of a company, Sports Logique, um, and we were talking about being able to take um, a hockey match, and then if you look right, you can see your fantasy sports stats. If you look left, you can see a replay. You can see, you know, information about a player. So being able to take advantage of that full turn that's available in virtual reality I think that's going to have a greater impact over the next three or four years and then you know in gaming and simulations that that'll have impact for training and and support maybe down the line we'll be able to look like Alexander Ovechkin through our own eyes or something like that. yeah or Sidney Crosby or Jamie but yeah you know <laughs> thank you very much for joining me today and good luck at the event tonight thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you very much